It's one of the most hotly debated questions for city voters. But new members, or new numbers rather, show a proposed hike in the city's minimum wage has broad support. If approved, Albuquerque's current minimum wage of $7.50 an hour would jump by a dollar to $8.50. News 13 Scott Daniels is live in the Newsplex with the story. Scott. Deanna, it's gone through grassroots organizing to the state Supreme Court and now onto the ballot. The Albuquerque Journal is saying this measure is favored to pass by a long shot. The survey conducted by Research and Polling Inc. showed voter support reaching 62% overall, leading by a 2 to 1 margin. 30% opposed the measure, and about 8% of those polled were undecided. The poll found almost 80% of left leaning voters want the increase, and almost half of right leaning voters are in favor of it as well. The measure has gotten a lot of backlash, though. The nonprofit think tank Rio Grande Foundation estimates the increase will cost the city 1,300 jobs. Albuquerque's Chamber of Commerce is worried about the potential burden put on employers of minimum wage workers. An increase of a dollar an hour to many people sounds good, but uh, most people don't realize the repercussions economically that a one dollar an hour increase means. We tried contacting Olay, the organizers of the measure, who collected 26,000 signatures to put the increase on the ballot. So far, they have not responded to any of our phone calls. Back to you. Okay, Scott, there's still more hoops for the minimum wage to jump through. Later today, Albuquerque City Councilors Trudy Jones and Dan Lewis are expected to file ethics complaints against an out-of-state group that they say has been sending mail to residents illegally about the issue. We'll have more on that on News 13 at 530.